season of glass car here on Marble Cubica rolls on as we make our second stop here at City Moonscape for our fifth race of the season. In our third circuit. And hopefully another exciting race on tap on the left side of your screen is the qualifying from earlier for this matchup. It'll have Dragon's Tail on the pole, Rocks Like, Canarium, Angel and Ivory, the top five. Hello again, friends. Keanu Bittersiki, glad to be here with you for the fifth race of this season in Glass Car 2020. We are back at the City Moonscape where we had a lot of issues with that plexiglass barrier earlier that has been adjusted a little bit here for this race as you see the championship standings on the screen. Rattlesnake is the points leader. Nitro, Canarium, Angel, and Volcano, the top five. Dragon's Tail is last in the point standings, but first on the starting grid today. And hopefully a chance to turn the tides for Dragon's Tail starting from the pole. Our last pole sitter was Canarium, who overcame the challenges of being the pole sitter that we've seen early in the season and ultimately ended up winning the race at the City Moonscape here in what was our fourth race, a different configuration. It is a 13 lap race. Somewhere around 20 to 22 seconds will be the time per lap based on what we saw from qualifying. And here we go. Let's see if Dragon's Tail can keep the lead into the first turn. The answer is no. Once again, it is a problem out of the gate for the pole sitter. Lots of contact between the marbles coming through. Dragon's Tail is back in the lead now, followed closely by Ivory, Nitro, Canarium, Rock Slide, and Rainforest. Those are the top six. And it looks like they're all kind of separated there. Volcano, keep an, uh, keep an eye on Volcano, nearly lapped on this course earlier uh, in our previous race before actually leaving the race due to an incident that ended their day early. They've dropped back to 11th. It's Rattlesnake back in last right now, and the lead belongs to Dragon's Tail, and that's the fastest lap so far. Lap 2, 21.041 for Dragon's Tail, the current fastest lap. They're the leader over Nitro, Ivory, Rainforest, and Canarium, the top five. And a pretty good-sized lead at the moment as Nitro trying to fend off Ivory. Now he's going to try to gain some momentum. And that lead is now another fastest lap. Dragon's Tail runs a 21-0-2-0, but here comes the rest of the field. And Dragon's Tail now having to hold off some competitors. Ivory and Rainforest are there. Volcano is yet again in last. As Rattlesnake has made a pass there, Angel and Penguin hanging out in the back as well. And it is a three-way race right now before you get back to Canarium. Rainforest just made a pass for second, gonna try to make a pass for the lead. Right now it's two-tenths of a second, or was moments ago, between Ivory and Dragon's Tail. Now a close match, maybe some contact there. And into the lead goes Rainforest, who just ran its fastest lap, a 28.72 take the lead. We're almost halfway through this race already. Very quick pace. You can see some of the marbles able to use that exit ramp for their satisfaction and for success, but some have had a hard time with it. Rattlesnake having a hard time with everything. Rainforest just ran another fast lap, a 27-7-1. However, it is tight. It's a four-way race, and the new leader is Rock Slide, followed by Ivory, Dragon's Tail, and Rainforest drops back to fourth after entering that area with the lead. Rockslide trying to gain the advantage. Now here comes Ivory going to make a pass for first. They are close, and now there's a few more marbles that are getting in there. Ivory takes the lead. Rainforest drops back into second. Rockslide now makes that pass back, and Ivory has a little bit of an advantage here. And there is an incident with Rockslide. Rockslide is off the course. We'll have to have a look at the replay and see exactly what happened, but Rockslide holding second place, I believe, at the time. Let's have a look and see exactly what did happen. As you can see, Rock Slide is that first marble. Oh, contact! Oh my, that is a disaster! With some contact with, I believe, that was Nitro. And Rock Slide will not finish this race. It's a second straight race here at the City Moonscape in which one, at least one of the competitors will not finish. And it was Dragon's Tail who made that contact with Rock Slide. And we're getting word that they are going to have an internal investigation on that, make sure there was no foul play there. Meanwhile, Dragon's Tail still competing for a win. Ivory is the leader. Pacifica has moved up to third. Rainforest is in fourth. Canarium holding strong in fifth. 
as Dragon's Tail had some contact that may have led or may have just been incidental with Rock Slide to uh, end up out of the race as Dragon's Tail coming up. And they are going to put a punishment on Dragon's Tail. A five second penalty. A huge penalty. And so Dragon's Tail competing for the lead, but not really having a chance. Rattlesnake is about to get lapped here. And that would be the first marble in the history of Glass Car 2 get lapped. Remember, Volcano was nearly lapped last time. There's only two laps left, so that may not end up happening. It's Ivory in the lead. Pacifica has just passed for second. They're going to come up and over, and there is the lap, I believe. Yep, Ivory's going to make that pass. It is Pacifica in second. Pacifica trying to get around Rattlesnake, who's now kind of serving as, for a moment there, a pick for Ivory. As we've gone into the final lap, Ivory with the lead over Pacifica. Rainforest third. Dragon's Tail, remember, has a five-second penalty currently running in fourth. Here comes Pacifica trying to come through, making it close. Pacifica right up on the bumper of Ivory as they come around to the final couple turns. Can Pacifica make the move through the last turn across the line? It is Ivory with the win. And it's going to be a close finish. That was 12 thousandths of a second. It happened from a different angle. It was right on the bumper was Pacifica, who will take second. Rainforest is third. Dragon's Tail comes across the line fourth, but they are going to have a five-second penalty added to them. Canarium, Nitro, Angel, Penguin, Black Shadow, Volcano, and then Rattlesnake. And then, of course, the DNF for Rockslide, who is having a very solid run. But unfortunately, some contact there causes some problems. Uh, Dragon's Tail will end up getting 7th place after the penalty is assessed. As you can see, Ivory, a big gainer for uh, Pacifica, who picks up 8 positions. Once again, Volcano, despite gaining 2 spots, really, really struggles, finishing in 10th and dropping back to 8th in the standings. As you have a look now at the updated standings, it is now a tie between Nitro and Rattlesnake atop the boards. Canaria moves to 3rd. Ivory is 4th now. And fifth is Pacifica in the standings as we have a look at our replay here and some of our highlights from this very fast paced and wild race. And again, issues coming out of the gate there for the uh, pole sitter, which has caused problems in the past, and it did here. You can see some marbles having success, others, like right there, you saw Volcano and Penguin have a hard time even getting to the exit ramp, which caused some real issues for them, and they ended up toward the back. Volcano, uh, Rattlesnake, and Penguin consistently in the back of the pack for the majority of this race. You saw there was where Rock Slide began to become a part of this competition. Dragon's Tail obviously didn't like it from what we're going to see momentarily. And here it is. So you can see there's Rock Slide in the front, Dragon's Tail's in the back. They both come down perfectly fine. Contact there between the two sends Rock Slide over. And that determination was that although it seemed like there was a lot of momentum being gained, the determination clearly was that that was a inappropriate action being made by the pole sitter. And so that ends up costing five seconds on the finishing time of Dragon's Tail. Uh, obviously, that is going to be one that's going to be talked about. The decision was made, and uh, it's unfortunate for Dragon's Tail. Obviously, even more unfortunate for Rock Slide, unable to finish this race. As you see, the last couple of turns, I'll tell you what, Pacifica made a cha made a, a run at it, but ultimately, a good job of staying in the line of sight by Ivory, and they came across the line. Not enough for Pacifica to make a move and have a chance at the win. So they will take second. They had the fastest lap, though. Lap number 13, it was the last lap, and it was the fastest lap of the race. It belonged to the runner-up Pacifica. Rainforest takes third, but they all wish they were Ivory right now. As Ivory gets the win and has now moved into fifth place in the championship standings. A very interesting race here at the City Moonscape for our fifth race of the season. Another 
marble that doesn't uh, isn't able to finish that due to maybe contact with the course, but maybe uh, slightly made uh, definitely more significant by the fact that there was contact with another competitor there. We saw our first marble get lapped, and that, by the way, is the points leader, Rattlesnake, who ends up... We are now into our sixth race of the first ever glass car season, and the championship contenders starting to make themselves known as you have a look at the Moonscape circuit. We're back on an oval here for the sixth race of the season, and I say hello again, friends. Keanu Bidiziki, glad to be here with you as you see the top left of your screen, the qualifying results from our qualifying session here for today's race. Nitro gets the pole, Rainforest, Ivory, Penguin, and Rattlesnake the top five as we are now into our sixth race of the season and some of our marbles that are uh, really competing for this championship making themselves known as as well as the marbles towards the bottom of the standings that have really fallen off the pace here it's over 20 points from first to last as you have a look at the championship standings on your screen now rattlesnake and nitro come in tied at 164 points three points back to canarium who won from the pole last week ivory is in fourth and pacifica fifth rainforest just one more point behind at 158 points so just six points behind the points leaders as you have a look at our crew chiefs all on the sidelines all wearing their face masks here covering and uh, helping to protect each other uh, to allow us to have this glass car season here in 2020 there are the team trailers that have been set up here at the moonscape circuit for a while here it is a 44 lap race nitro is going to take us to the green and we are underway into turns one and two they will go and immediately nitro loses the lead that is penguin as you see the top left of your screen shows the standings penguin in the lead canarium nitro rainforest and ivory as we're one lap through like we said 44 laps in this race it's going to be a quick one as you can see that ramp which will cause almost looks like one of those jumping water fountains that you see as you'll see that continue to happen on the back side of your screen. But right now, it's Penguin in the lead by almost a full second over Nitro. Canarium, Rainforest, Volcano moving up to fifth. Pacifica ran the slowest lap for what it's worth in qualifying, currently running in last. Volcano's dropped all the way back to ninth now. Penguin still in the lead, followed by Nitro. Canarium, Rainforest, or excuse me, Dragon's Tail, then Rainforest. That was the fastest lap so far. Belongs to the leader, Penguin. You can see Penguin really not being challenged early on. Pacific is still running in last. Canarium holding off Nitro for the moment. That lead is now over a second. There are the leaders coming through four. Back across the start-finish line in case you lost them there for a second. Lots of marbles going all different places. Love that view along the front straightaway there. As you can see some of the marbles making moves. Penguin's still the leader. Dragon's Tail has started to move up now into third place. Nitro still running in fourth. There they are, and now Dragon's Tail makes the pass for second. It's a 1.3 second lead for Penguin over Dragon's Tail in second. Canarium has dropped to third. Nitro's in fourth. Volcano back up to fifth. And now Dragon's Tail's going to make a pass on Penguin for the lead. How about that? They get a lot closer now. Going up the ramp and through now turns three and four, and it is a race again. Penguin... And Dragon's Tail, Canarium, has now made that pass. And they're getting really tight. Look at all these marbles coming across the ramp at the same time. And everybody's in it again. All the way back to, it seems, Pacifica's the last one there. The last two marbles, uh, Rattlesnake and Angel, are kind of far behind. Lead back up to a half a second now between Penguin and now second place, Canarium. Dragon's Tail, Rainforest, Volcano, the top five. They continue to run very close. And it's really close there between third and fourth. Black Shadow now up to third. Best running spot of the day. Pacifica has dropped back to 12th now. Everybody a little bit closer here. So we are 20 laps in now to a 44 lap race. But again, these laps go so quickly. We ran fastest lap of the race, a 6.7 second lap. Penguin still the leader, has led the majority of this race. Did not win the pole, though. That was uh, Nitro, who's now running in 11th. really fallen back. Nitro going to move up to ninth, passing Ivory and Angel. It's still Pacifica in last, and it's still Penguin in the lead. Rainforest now move, now runs in second. 
Black Shadows drop back to third. Rattlesnake and Canarium are fourth and fifth. Two tenths of a second is the lead. Maybe a move there for Dragon's Tail being pushed by Canarium through three and four. It is still Penguin in the lead. Dragon's Tail second. Black Shadow gonna try to make a move for second place. They're gonna go tight across the start finish line. Still Dragon's Tail in the lead. Dragon's Tail gonna make a move now, try to get the pass on Penguin. Not gonna happen there. And that lead will now uh, become a little larger as Penguin got a run after some contact, I think. Looked like they may have made a little bit of contact there. It's been a pretty clean race here. And it's been a pretty dominant race, frankly, for Penguin. Still in the lead over Black Shadow, Dragon's Tail, Rainforest, and Canarium. Angel, who had been running in last for a lot of the races, moved up to seventh now. And Pacifica continues to run towards the back of the pack. The lead is three tenths of a second. It is close for second and third, maybe some more contact. Black Shadow's in second. Coming around, turn four, back across the start, finish again. And it is Black Shadow. Now Rainforest takes over third, fourth and fifth. Dragon's Tail Volcano are all in it. Top five are in this one. But right now, Penguin's starting to lengthen that lead out once again. It's a pretty big lead, actually, right now. And now it's starting to be shortened once again. Angel all the way up to fourth. What a run. After starting way in the back, but the lead is 1.6 seconds. Penguin looked like it was a little slow there, bouncing off the walls this way and that. But the lead still belongs to that marble. Penguin in a pretty significant power position right now. Black Shadow and Rainforest battling for second. We're running out of laps. We're on lap 38 now. We're about to be on 38 as they'll come through turns three and four and send us to lap 38. Not many left in this 44 lap race and it is Penguin by a pretty wide margin over Black Shadow and Rainforest. Rainforest trying to make a pass for second and maybe give something to Penguin at the end of this race. We enter lap 40 now, and the lead still at points is a whole entire straightaway. Seven tenths of a second for Penguin over Black Shadow. Dragon's Tail's made the move back to third. Rainforest fourth. Ivory has moved into fourth now, passing Rainforest. The top five again kind of separated from before you get to Canarium in sixth. Then Angel, Volcano, Rock, uh, Rattlesnake, Rockslide, Slide, Pacifica, and Nitro. Only two laps to go. Penguin trying to take that final spot there. We go, it is the final lap of this race. Penguin in a pretty big lead, and it's gonna be a dominant win for Penguin. Dragon's Tail in second, there's the win. Penguin gets it, Dragon's Tail in second. Black Shadow, Canarium, Ivory, Angel, Rainforest, Rattlesnake, Volcano, Pacifica, Nitro, the pole sitter, finishes 11th, and Rock Slide, seven seconds back, will finish in 12th. What a race and a dominant win for Penguin. Holy cow, that was a great effort. And you can see Penguin now gains three positions overall from where they started the race. Dragon's Tail in second, Black Shadow third, Canarium fourth, Ivory fifth. Biggest gainer was uh, Canarium. Picks up five spots, obviously negative ten. Biggest loser ends up being Nitro. And it is Canarium that now moves into the lead for the championship by one point over Rattlesnake. One more point back to Ivory, then Nitro and Rainforest, the top five, as we have a look at the replay here. And this one had a lot going on from the very beginning, and Penguin led it from the first corner. You see there through turns one and two, great job of just cutting off the pole sitter there, Nitro. And Nitro ended up in third. And it was Penguin from the start. And you can see some of the very impressive looks going up that ramp and then making contact again with the course. A lot of, uh, you can see some contact there between look like Pacifica and Canarium. It was a very well run race and a, a perfectly executed run by Penguin who starts out this race in fourth. Ends up in the lead by the end of the first corner and really never looked back. It was a rare occurrence where Penguin wasn't leading. Here was one of them where Penguin had to retake the lead on lap 14 over uh, Dragon's Tail, who was there. You had Rainforest was in the mix for a while, but nobody could really get back to Penguin. It was a pretty dominant win uh, and just uh, a showing of, uh, I don't know if it's knowing the course better or having just a better luck or uh, honestly, 
just look like better prepared for the day from Penguin. A lot of passing, but most of it happened back in the pack. We saw Pacifica hung out in the back for the most part. Nitro went back and forth, ends up finishing in 11th. Ivory was in the middle of the pack for the majority of the time. Angel was at the bottom and then moved all the way up for a moment up to, I believe it was fourth, was the highest running position there. A lot of back and forth, but not a lot of lead changes. Uh, as Penguin leads it just about as close to start to finish as you can get from the first corner on with very slight changes, including running the fastest lap. That was lap 42 was the fastest lap of 6702. Third place is Black Shadow on the podium. Runner-up is Dragon's Tail, came in as the last place runner in the standings. So a big gain there for Dragon's Tail. But of course, they're all aspiring to be Penguin after today's race here at the Moonscape Circuit on the second oval course we have run for Glass Car. A very different oval course, uh, but it still results in a lot of passing. However, this time, instead of a close finish from the leaders, it was close finishes later in the pack because Penguin was the marble to beat from the get-go, and it just did not happen. An easy win by over a second, 1.7 seconds back to first, and then from there, it was eight-tenths of a second back to third place, Black Shadow. So a very dominant...